All right, got the plus four out. Going to do something different today. Normally, I use this right here. This, this thing is great. That's a back bit cartridge. It works in multiple machines. This part at the very end uh, down here at the bottom, that can be removed in a different adapter put on for a different type of computer. Uh, right now it's set for a plus four. All the games are on this micro SD card you see in the very top. It's got a reset button and an activity light. Uh, really neat cartridge, but I'm not going to use that one today. What I'm actually going to do today is uh, use one of the original cartridges. This is what the plus four cartridges look like. A little, a little bit of a bend to them there. And uh, they're a little bit longer than a Commodore 64 cartridge. Still has an edge connector in there. This one had to be cleaned. It was, it was dirty enough sitting in the box for all those years that it didn't quite work when I first tested it out a few minutes ago. Uh, but I've cleaned it off and it seems to be working now. So let's go ahead and get that in the machine. And then after that, we'll look at this second one that I have uh, here with me. Atomic Mission and Pirate Adventure. All right, got it in the machine. Let's power it up. And these old cartridges are a bit finicky, so you might have to clean the edge connector if it doesn't come up right away. But typically, they don't go bad. It's, it's, it's rare to see a cartridge go bad. Anyway, so we've got a Scott Adams uh, game here. This one is Pirate Adventure. And it's a text text-based adventure, kind of like uh, if you're familiar with Zork. Uh, it's all um, text-based. There's no, no graphics or anything. Uh, I'm in a flat in London, flight of stairs. Uh, and you just tell it what to do. If you see something, you can say pick it up or use it or go west, go north, that sort of thing. But yeah, pretty neat game. I won't go too deep into it. It is just a text adventure. Um, I just wanted to show mainly the cartridges and what they look like and how they operate. Uh, so let me get the next one up. Okay, that first one was Pirate Adventure. This one is Atomic Mission. If I can get it to focus there. There it goes. Atomic Mission. Again, same form factor. Kind of a bent style cartridge. Edge connector in the end. And uh, that's what the back looks like. It's got a little, little foot for support, so it'll be resting on the desk and not extended out. That's a handy feature. Let's get that in the machine and give it a whirl. All right, this one is very similar to the first one uh, in that it is a text adventure. And this, was, uh, this one's adventure number three called Atomic Mission on the cartridge cover. And like the other one, it gives you the option to restore save game. So if you're an hour into this thing and you wanna come back to it later, you can save your progress on a disc or a tape and uh, load that up when you come back. We're gonna say no, because I don't have one here. Uh, let's look and see what's in the room. Oh, there's a, there's a tape recorder. Let's, so let's play the tape. And there you go. Very similar to the other one. Uh, I haven't gone through this one yet, so these are brand new to me. I haven't played them yet, so I'll, uh, I'll give these a whirl. But anyway, wasn't wasn't really here to show the games, but more so the cartridge. And of course, uh, those cartridges are really hard to find. If you don't want to have to fool with that, you can always get a Backbit from Backbit.io. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but I am a user of their products and they are wonderful. This cartridge works in just about all my machines uh, with the correct adapters. All right. Yeah, it's just been a quick look at the cartridges for the Commodore Plus 4.